Well, hello. Today is Saturday, September 23rd, and it's time for our weekly meeting. As you can see, we're doing it in the car today. Um, I have uh, plans for the day. I got a little bit of running to do, and when I get home, Jim and I are going to hop in the car and go pick up Christy, and we're going up north to uh, Frankenmuth for the day and Birch Run to do some shopping. Um, I live in Michigan. That's uh, They're probably about two hours north of where I live. So we're going to spend the day doing that. And um, I did want to have my meeting with you before, so I'm going to upload it while I'm going up. I do most of my, I do my editing and everything on my phone so I can do it while I'm traveling. It'll give me something to do. Uh, when I, one time I tried to do the meeting in the car when we were going up north and I had the uh, peanut gallery in the back seat chuckling all along. So I just wanted to do this. Just, just us. Just us. Shh, don't tell nobody else. Um, I did have a gain, unfortunately, of 0.1. So now I'm 259.1, wah, wah, wah. Um, I'm not happy with the gain, but I'm happy with that small gain. I really just think it's a little bit of water retention. Um, I did have um, salty stuff yesterday, and th that'll make, that makes the difference, it really does. But um, on to the meeting, we had the weekly meeting, uh, make your meetings matter, and um, so she mostly, she was really interesting today. She really was. So we talked about uh, no matter how much we know, there's always more to learn. And that's true. No matter how old you get, um, you always think that you know so much when you're younger, but every year you get a little bit smarter. <laughs> um, you lose a little bit of momentum in your steps because you get a little bit slower. But I think the fact that you're getting slower, you're, maybe, you're able to observe things around you more so. I think that's why when you get older, you, you realize all the unimportant things that worried you so much when you were younger that at the time they just seemed like so important and as you get older you just realize no, eh, not so much but you know with age comes wisdom and aches and pains <laughs> and slow weight loss but um, it sure beats the alternative it really does I know people say that all the time but I, I'm a firm believer in that and I, I, I said that and I've said this before um, I just had my birthday and I was 67 I don't feel 67. My body sometimes feels 67. It really does. But my mind never feels 67. And I think that as long as you have uh, young at heart, as they say, you can be 100 and you can, you can still enjoy life. You can have your aches and your pains and you can get beyond that and just know. But anyway, back on track. I kind of went off on a tangent there. Um, Weight Watchers is one of the, the very few... Um, organizations, weight loss organizations that do have meetings. I know that TAPS does because I did go to TAPS for a while but somehow I just didn't feel as much inspiration from a TAPS meeting. People just didn't seem that, well, I shouldn't even say that. The, the meetings that I attended, um, it was just more or less to keep themselves in check. It really wasn't to lose weight and I could have just not been to a good meeting, you know, I'll give them that. But the, the couple of meetings that I did attend, I just never felt that uh, they were invested in me, like Weight Watchers is invested in me. Uh, I've said this before, I just wish they were a little bit cheaper, but, um, you know, I'll pay it. I'm worth that, I'm worth that money each month. And I took a long time to come to that realization, but I realize now I am worth it and I am going to, I am going to do it. I really am. So um, you want to attend a meeting. I mean, like if you go to Nutri, what is it, Nutra something? Or Jenny Craig, or um, there's so many of them out there where you got to buy their food and you got to follow their plan. It's not teaching you the right way to eat. Weight Watchers is teaching you the right way to eat. You can have you can have your cookies and your cakes and things like that. Um, you just have to have them in moderation. And you learn how to incorporate them into your daily life. Whereas when you're on the uh, weight loss clinic and things like that, or Nutris, Nutris, I wish I could remember what that's called. Put it in the comments below because it's bugging me. But I know it's Nutris something. But anyway, they give you the food and everything, and it's, you know, and they deliver it right to your house. But it doesn't teach you how to shop for the right foods or to, um, to incorporate them into your everyday life. And they find that people that do attend the meetings do tend to lose more weight. Um, I find that the meetings do help me. I go whether I'm going to gain or loss, lose. I, I just know that I have to go to the meetings. I for years and years and years fought it. And uh, 
It's funny because Denise kept trying to get me to go. I finally do go and then Denise quits. Um, you know, some of you are my new subscribers. Denise is uh, my sister. You'll see her in some of the Weight Watcher videos. She actually started this channel and then I kind of jumped aboard and then she jumped ship. <laughs> so um, I'm still paddling away. And she's not that she's not trying at home because she is, but she just lost interest in doing the channel. And so I picked it up. So you'll see me and you'll see her. That's my sister Denise. And uh, she's, she's doing well. But by coming to meetings, there's uh, three things that you'll notice. You'll participate in good conversations um, and you'll be, divide, you'll, you'll be sharing uh, ideas with other people. And they know your struggles because they're struggling too. And you can t speak freely. It's kind of like an AA meeting that, you know, like people just, they know you're struggling and they know where you're, they, cause they've been through the same pitfalls and they know exactly what they, what they need to do. You also learn about different health changes. You know, like there's always a new food out there that's gonna um, boost your metabolism or, you know, like a myth that this, meta this is gonna work and this isn't gonna work. So you wanna, you know, come to that just for that and uh, come to the meetings just for that knowledge. They don't tell you that every week, but every once in a while they might hit on something, you know, like you'll see it in one of the uh, books. You know, like you'll get your book every week like this, and somewhere in the book it'll tell you, um, you know, like some, like in recipes, which are healthy recipes, uh, things that you might not have thought of. Um, and it increased your motivation and your inspiration and your accountability. Um, a lot of times, like this morning, I just was not motivated to get out of bed. I wanted to stay in bed. I knew that I, today I was going to be doing a lot of walking, and I thought, eh, I just need that little bit extra sleep. I know that I stayed the same or like right around there. I don't really need to go. But I thought, no, get your butt out of bed and get to that meeting because you need to go to that meeting because it does keep you accountable. And you, you are motivated by seeing, like, there's one lady today that she got a pin for 75 pounds. I'm, you know, you can see that it can be done. And it was funny because I think I've lost, let me see, I think I've lost 47, no, 45.1, but the group as a whole today lost 47 pounds. So I was pretty close to, like, I lost all the weight <laughs> in my mind. I lost as much as everybody else. And um, you're just accountable. You just, you just know, you know, you don't have to go to a meeting per se, but you can make yourself accountable to say, you know, on Saturday morning at 10 o'clock, every Saturday, no matter what, I'm gonna get on that scale. I'm gonna see how much I weigh. And you're accountable to yourself. So during the week, you have to think, well, you know, on Saturday, I gotta get on that scale, and I don't know if I really wanna get on it. And even if you know you had a gain, you need to get on there, and you have to account for it. So the different, they pulled up, uh, talked about a bunch of different things, understanding, um, there are people there at the meetings that understand your struggles and I, I touched on that already that You know everybody there is there because they want to lose weight Nobody's there because they want to gawk at you and see the big people They all are there for the same reason that you are they want to lose weight um, And they have compassion for you too You everybody has compassion for people in life You'd be not a very good human being if you didn't have compassion in your soul But they know your struggles. They know when you're failing they're there to boost you up and make you feel better. They tell you, you know, stay with it. Don't give up. You know, don't quit. Um, you just you just know that they're sharing your journey with you and they understand every step of the way that you're going. And you can pick up some new ideas if you go to a meeting. Um, a lot of times they'll, they'll point out things, like I pointed out with my chicken pot pie recipe that it was 30 points for a Marie Callender um, pot pie everybody was like, oh you know like nobody thinks of that uh, the leader told us that um, there's 16 points in a margarita that shocked everybody and then we look at the sodium on the you know you never think about you know, like when you're getting even Weight Watchers because they're guilty of it too their packaged foods has so much sodium that they really need to work on that too if they're going to promote a food to be healthy then they need to know that the sodium is not healthy either but I understand the sodium as far as the preservatives and things like that but they have to figure out something yeah um, you, you pick up a lot of concern when you go to the meetings because people really care about you they really do if you don't show up they wonder where you are they just uh, like on YouTube if somebody doesn't show up on a YouTube channel that I've watched for a long time I wonder what happened are they okay did why did they stop that's why every once in a while I like to explain that Denise 
is still okay. She's doing really well, but she just got tired of doing it. If I ever decided to stop doing this channel, I promise you, you have my promise and my word, Girl Scout honor, because I was a Girl Scout, that uh, I will come on here and tell you, you know what, I'm going to... I'm not going to do it for a while, or I'm I'm just going to stop. I, I'm never going to leave anybody high and dry. I just I just think that's rude. Um, it's also cathartic to go to a meeting because you're able to share your journey and share your struggles and your concerns and what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong. And and people are there to help you with you. They understand your struggles. They understand exactly where you're going through. And sometimes there's competition. You know, like even in ours. Our little groups, you'll see the people that come together and you'll hear them saying, oh, I lost this. Like Christy and I have a competition. Christy's my daughter. Um, sometimes she comes to this meeting, but for the most part, she goes to the meeting that's by her house. And uh, we, we compete. And like I said, she lost 2.3, I think, this week. And uh, so she did really well. She beat me this week. But next week, I'm going to beat her. And... Um, tough love you know sometimes you just need someone to point out what you're doing wrong and they can tell you that uh you know that's really not in your best interest you really need to change that up that's just not really good so that's one of the, that's most of the things that the leader pointed out today so we'll go through the book really quickly because we haven't got much more time because sandy babble babble babbles um make your meetings matter a weight watcher meeting is more than a chance to get weighed in and learn about a useful topic meetings instantly connect you with a welcoming community which is true i told you that um there's nobody there that says oh my gosh why are you here go away you're too fat you're too big you don't need to be here you know whether you need to lose five pounds or 50 pounds you're you're felt like equals you're not judged in any any way at all and if you come to your meeting every week it's rewarding first to yourself just to know that you accomplished the the hump of even if you didn't want to come because you didn't you knew you were gonna have a gain you still went and you got to give yourself a big pat on the back because you know it's not easy to face up to your mistakes or your failures no one likes to admit that they failed uh, it's just not part of human nature to say, oh, I'm so proud of the fact that I failed. Nobody wants to do that. But if, you, if you're accountable to yourself and you go to a meeting, you should take pride in that, that you didn't fail in that aspect of your life. And if you come to a meeting, it'll help you reach your goals. And research shows that attendance is a key predictor of uh, success. Members who attend regularly are 11.2 times more likely to reach their 5% weight loss goal at six months and 15.5 times more likely to reach their 10% weight loss goal at six months. Well, at six months, I lost... Well, I have, I've lost my 10 pounds because I, I, was, I started at 304 and a half. And this morning I weighed 259.1. So I've lost like 45, well, I've told you I've lost 45 pounds. So that's more than 10, that's more than the 10% <clears throat> in the six months because I've been attending for nine months. But I did reach that early on and I've just been through the summer going up and down, up and down. I've been fluctuating back and forth. So um, that's on me. That's not on Weight Watchers. That's on me. So on the Think Again page, it's uh, an unhelpful thought is, I don't feel like going to my meeting this week. I think I'll skip it. It's no big deal. I'll get there next week. But the helpful thought is, going to my meeting is a big deal, especially to me. I need to make the time this week to get there. Even when I don't feel like it, even when life gets in my way, I need to get to my meeting. And then a helpful thought is, I had a tough week, and I really don't want to go on the scale. I'll just skip this meeting, get back on track, and then go on next week. And the helpful thought is, the tough weeks are the weeks I need to go to my meeting the most and get on the scale. Going to my meeting is the best thing I can do to get back on track. And I still agree with that. Uh, it's better to, to face the realization that you gained two or three pounds in one week than to go the following week and, loss and find out you gained five or six pounds. That's even harder to get off. So the recipe is for roasted sirloin. Um, it looks pretty good, so I might just try that. I always say I just might try that, and a lot of times I don't. I mean to, but I don't. So anyway, um, it's our meetings where meetings mattered, and I'm so glad that you attended the meeting with me today. I so enjoy your comments. I really do. I really appreciate them. You've all been very helpful to me, and I can't thank you enough. If you're new to my channel, um, I please subscribe. I do a daily vlog, except for on Sundays. And I, um, I'm in the walk a 100 mile challenge with my everyday wife life. I didn't walk at all this week, so it's not gonna be a very happy check-in this week for that. And I do my weekly meeting with the uh, Weight Watchers. So um, if you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. If not, I will see you next Saturday.